Hello everyone, my name is Beatriz Amaral, I am the Cosmetic Scientist here at Formula Botanica and welcome to our Ask the Formulator series. And today our question is, how do I safely incorporate essential oils into my formulations? So first, what are essential oils? They are volatile compounds that are extracted from plants through distillation or mechanical expression, depending on the plant. So uh, they are uh, usually very fragrant and people love using them in natural cosmetics because it's a way to um, bring natu a natural scent to the formulation. But they are very, very, very concentrated extracts. So um, they have these volatile compounds and uh, think of it as a really strong extract. So they have lots of amazing skin benefits besides their amazing scent. But as they are so concentrated, we need to be a little bit careful because they can cause some irritation as well if they are not used properly. So uh, why safety is so important when we are talking about essential oils? Um, there are many formulas out there that are not very responsible and use essential oils in very high amounts. And the problem is that as they are really very concentrated, they are very strong, you don't need to use a lot uh, to benefit from their properties. And they also contain allergens, also called sensitizers, which are substances that can cause irritation. And because of this, some essential oils and some of these compounds have established thermal limits, which means that uh, there is a maximum amount of these essential oils or these specific substances that are in the essential oil that can be present in the final formulation. So some essential oils do have specific thermal limits, as for example, ylang ylang. But uh, in other cases, you don't have a specific dermal limit for the essential oil. You need to calculate it based on the sensitizer content of the essential oil. So uh, in the EU, you have a list. Actually, um, this list is being changed now. But for now, for the moment, we, we need to list 26 sensitizers that need to go into the label of any cosmetic formulation if they are above a certain uh, threshold. So if they are above 0.01% uh, in rinse off formulations, and if they are above 0.001% in leave on formulations, they, uh, these sensitizers need to be declared on the label because as they can cause allergies and irritation, and some people are very sensitive to these specific compounds, then it's a way to inform consumers that these compounds are present in the formulation. So you see that um, it's a lot when you uh, think about using essential oils in formulation, and you need to be very careful because even though they have beautiful uh, fragrance and amazing scents, you need to be careful because they can cause irritation if they are not used properly. So you need to know um, how to dilute them. Never use essential oils pure because as I told you, they are very concentrated, they are very strong, and they can cause uh, serious irritation if they are used in high concentrations. So you need to dilute them in, in your formulas. When you are using essential oils in rinse off formulas, like um, let's say shampoos or uh, face wash, anything that will be washed off, um, you can use slightly higher amounts. And if the formulation is supposed to uh, stay on your skin, if it's a leave on formulation like um, a cream or a serum, a toner, then you need to use slightly lower amounts. And there is not a specific guideline for essential oils because it can vary. There are essential oils that you need to use very low amounts and some others you can use slightly higher amounts. But usually 1% uh, can be a good place to get started for uh, formulas for the body. You can use a little bit 
um, more for farmers for the face you can use a little bit less depending on the essential oil some people are very sensitive to scent not only to the substances that cause irritation and if you use something on your face that uh, contains essential oils um, you feel it more closely to your nose so uh, the scent will be stronger so you don't need to use as much as you would use for a body formula so these are just very basic guidelines and going back to the sensitizers as I told you, essential oils contain the substances that can cause irritation. And there are lists of the sensitizers and they have specific dermal limits, which is the maximum amount of these compounds that can be present in your formula. And how do I know how much of the sensitizer is in my essential oil, how much I can use in my formula? Many suppliers will provide you with this information and then you need to calculate it by yourself how much you can use of the essential oil in the pharma. Some, some suppliers are uh, really kind and will provide you with a table with all the categories of formulas, like green cell formulas, formulas for the face, formula for the body, etc. And the specific concentration of the essential oil that you can use for each of these types of products. Um, but um, if not, if you only uh, get the safety data sheet of your supplier with the amount of sensitizers in your essential oil, then you take the calculator yourself. In our courses, we provide very in-depth materials about uh, dermal limits and calculating sensitizers of essential oils. We have a huge workbook that contains all of this information, and we provide our students with all this material that will help them calculate their sensitizers, understand uh, dermal limits, and understand how uh, to find out we, uh, um, the category to which the product belongs to, so they can know the dermal limits for that specific category. And I'm, I'm afraid this is a lot, because even though essential oils are natural and Many people want to work with them. Um, I'm not telling you to be afraid of them, but um, you need to be respectful because this is, these are very strong ingredients. And if you do not use them well, then you can uh, formulate a harmful product instead of formulating uh, something that will be safe for the user. So this is, uh, also, why we never measure essential oils in drops in our formulas. We always weigh them because it's safer when, uh, when you wait because you have a consistent measure while drops can vary sometimes. So it, you cannot be as accurate when measuring in drops as you are when you weight your essential oils. So I think... Uh, I, hope, I hope I have helped shed some light into this topic. It's a really broad topic. And as I told you, we have a whole workbook just on working with essential oils and learning about dermal limits and how to calculate the sensitizers and essential oils. But uh, I think my message here today is essential oils are amazing compounds. They provide amazing skin benefits if you use them well. So treat your essential oils with respect. And if you use them well, they are amazing ingredients. Do not be afraid of them. Just learn how to use them properly. And I think that's it for today. See you next time.